thing is that the day you die, you should celebrate while others should cry of your bed, of your good works. Life is the path in what to be, the resting place along the road to eternity. We all have different journeys and different paths along the way. We all we are meant to learn something but never meant to stay. Our destination is a place far greater than we know. For some, the journey is quicker, while for others, the journey is slow. But the journey finally ends. Only the fulfilled ones we claim the great reward and they shall find an everlasting peace with the Lord. The world is provoked with the question of what comes after this. When we are faced with the death of a friend or a relative, we are stunned with grief. We don't understand he was here and now he is not. Where did he go? Where does the spirit go? The truth is that our soul knows its eternal nature. If we ask our souls this question in a real way, we will find out that we are made from the stuff of humanity. John 14, 1 to 3 is read at often with often funerals. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. This is the saying of Jesus Christ. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you, to receive you to myself. That's where I am, there you will be also. I am honestly sorry that you lost your grandfather. If you are both believers, please realize that you will see him again. First Thessalonians 4, 13, say, this is saying of Jesus Christ as well. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep in bracket, died. Let you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even, for even so God will bring him, bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say, you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain, and remain until the coming of the Lord will be by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught all together. With them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. My beloved brothers and sisters, it's so painful to lose our loved ones. But the most important question we should be asking ourselves is that if he or she lived a fulfilled life on earth, because it doesn't matter how long, how many years he or she lived on planet earth. Papa Aremu, we know you have lived a fulfilled life on earth, leaving your seed, Daddy Yomi Aremu, behind to continue your good works on earth. Indeed, Pa, we love you, but God Almighty loves you the most. Adieu, adieu. May your gentle departed soul find peace in the bosom of God. In Jesus' name.